Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you may have seen over the last few months, I've started a new series that I'm really enjoying where I tell you about my top five favorites for a certain item and it's usually a basic, especially for me, one that I find useful for work. Today, by popular demand from my last five days of fashion styling video, I saw a lot of questions about blazers, and I did mention the possibility of doing one of these specifically for blazers. Kind of niche, but on the other hand, blazers are just the easiest piece to immediately dress up an outfit with. If you don't want to wear a full suit and your office is not necessarily business formal, Wearing a blazer, even with jeans or an easy pair of black trousers, and I'll show you the ones that I'm wearing later, and I've also done a full video on trousers as well, so I'll link that at the end of this video, because I think they're kind of complimentary in a way. Blazers are just fabulous for that, right? So the first one that I want to talk about is the one that's most useful for this season, spring going into summer, to immediately dress up, especially in an easy summer dress or anything like that that would otherwise seem a bit um, either a bit wintry or a bit casual. This first one that I'm going to feature is from Club Monaco. I did pick, up, pick it up from last year's collection and you can see it has a really nice French finish to it. It is slightly cropped and like many of these blazers that is something that I really enjoy. Really like that it's cropped but not too cropped because if something is very cropped it can kind of cut you off and end um, too high above your waist. So all of these um, tend to be that sort of cut especially because it's what I reach for. And I just like something like this that is a cream. It's not too ivory but it's also not a pure white. So. I really recommend getting a cream blazer if you don't already have one for the season. And although that one may not, um, in particular, may not be available anymore, I'll make sure to find a couple of options at different price points and list them down below for you. The second category of blazer that I find particularly useful are those that have a little bit of shimmer to them or that are particularly evening appropriate. You may have seen this one before if you watched one of my recent Girl Boss vlogs where I did give that panel speech at SFU. So you can see there's a really subtle shimmer going through the fabric of the blazer. It's from Tory Burch several years ago and I like how crisp it is. I like the lapels on it and I just really like the blue shimmer because it's not too 80s. It's not sequined all over or anything too crazy. So for anything like evening drinks or day to night at the office, it's just such a great and useful piece. So again, this particular one is probably not available anymore but I will link some similar options down below that I would think would be useful for the same purpose, which is dressing up a simple outfit, especially with jeans. So for example, if you had maybe a more casual day at work and then you were going out after, then this would be a useful piece. And it just brings a little extra zing and sparkle, I think, to your blazer game to have something that's a little bit shimmery like this one. A third category of blazer that I think is particularly useful and that everybody should have one of is a motorcycle style. So especially if your office is a little bit more on the casual side, I think something like this is so useful because it's not too dressy, it doesn't look too much like a suit, but immediately you feel that polish and that put together kind of crispness that you get from wearing a blazer. Usually they're characterized by having lots of zippers, so this one has a side zipper and some leather trim as well as some leather panels on the side and some side pockets. Rebecca Taylor makes fabulous blazers, so I'll link a couple of options from that label down below. They are a little bit more on the pricey side, but the quality of this one is fantastic. I've had it for several years and it does have that boucle fabric that you guys know I just go back to over and over because I think it's very ladylike, very polished and very practical as well because it tends not to wrinkle too much. My fourth category, which is a personal must-have and favorite of mine, whenever I see these, especially at Zara, I tend not to be able to resist them. And I have an old and a new example. So this one is from many years ago at Zara, and it's, I think, proof that their pieces are actually sometimes really excellent quality. So it's a cayenne red with black and white trim and both of these are Chanel knockoffs. They're very heavily inspired by the Chanel runways that come out every year, usually in the spring but sometimes also for the fall. 
and just that bright pop of color. To me, these are like candy. They're just so lovely to wear. They right away give that outfit a punch of color and luxury that I think really can't be beaten by anything plainer. So I usually really look for the detailing, like a fun lining, and I always look at the buttons as well because I think cheap looking buttons is a total giveaway that it's a knockoff blazer. So these ones are really nice. They have a nice little coat of arms in their metal. Try and avoid things like plastic buttons on blazers like these and um, just look at the detail on it which is actually really great on this piece you can see just lasted me for so long and it's actually on the longer side as well so it's a bit different from a lot of my other blazers and i really enjoy that and then on the more cropped side of things i did pick up a new one um, this past season and you can see this one has even more of that fringe chanel-esque detail it's got really nice metal coat of arms buttons again so that's something that's sort of consistent with them and it's just very plush and thick to the touch. I love how it has a little bit of a kind of schoolboy, kind of uniform feel to it, but with so much color going through it that it's so easy to match it with different tops and different outfits. And again, you know, really great for spring and summer, but also appropriate for fall. Little blazers like these are so convertible from season to season, and that Chanel-esque inspired um, detail with the tweedy kind of fabric, tweed or boucle usually. And the newest addition to my blazer game, one of my bigger investments is from Eero. I love this brand, they make amazing blazers. I think Eero and Rebecca Taylor for high-end little blazers and, and then Club Monaco, Zara and J. Crew for lower priced and ones that you can pick up on sale are my top brands overall. But Eero in particular makes these wonderful fringe blazers that are very frayed in effect, but they don't actually come apart at all. It's really beautifully made. I've worn this a lot recently. And what I love about this is how lightweight it is. So even though it's black, um, black goes with everything. So it looks amazing with bright colors. And because it doesn't have a thick synthetic lining, you don't find yourself sweating a lot in this. What it basically is, is a blazer that actually functions like a cardigan because it gives you that light layer of warmth and um, polish without feeling heavy or very structured at all. It just feels and wears like a cardigan but looks so much dressier and more polished than that. And it's again got that boucle texture. It's just so soft. It's so comfortable to wear. I really have thought a long time before buying one of these Eero blazers because I wasn't sure if I would love it as much in practice and if it would really be worth that extra dollar above the Zara ones. But I've enjoyed it so much it makes me want to pick it up in some of the funner colors. So I'll link this basic black one as well as the funner ones that they have down below as well. I think it's a label that really does um, what it means to you with blazers really well and it does have a little extra edge of fashion, I think, and style. It's a little bit more current just by virtue of that long fringe that they have going on. Instead of being a knockoff of Chanel like the Zara ones are a little bit, I think they kind of do their own thing, which I really enjoy and appreciate. So that is it for my top five types of blazers. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If there's another video on top five basics that you would like to see, especially for um, spring and summer, then please let me know in the comments down below because I really enjoy making these videos for you. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next installment on style. Bye.